Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So October is fast approaching, and that's when Microsoft has announced that it will be ending support for Windows 10. And as I've been mentioning previously on the channel, the closer we get to the end of support, Microsoft is going to be pushing more banners or pop-ups on Windows 10. And there are reports, once again, that Microsoft is pushing these banners out on Windows 10 to get you to move over to Windows 11 and especially for you to move over to a Copilot Plus PC because that's where Microsoft's focus is, as I've been talking about on the channel. And I have posted on this banner previously, but there are now reports saying that Microsoft seems to be up in the ante by pushing out these banners now more on a regular basis. Now, I must be honest, I personally haven't seen um, any of these on my Windows 10 device, but quick recap. With support for Windows 10 ending October 14, rest assured we have you covered. Windows 11 makes it easy to move your favorite files and apps over. Continue to experience everything you already know and love with battery, life that lasts, faster web browsing, and enhanced security. Want the ultimate Windows 11 experience? Level up to the new Copilot Plus PCs, the fastest, most intelligent Windows PCs ever. And as mentioned, I think Microsoft's first prize would be to get as many Windows 10 users onto Copilot Plus PCs, which as I've mentioned previously, I think is a little bit cheeky because that means you've got to go out and buy a new PC, which I think causes a bit of debate in certain circles for obvious reasons and understandably. And something else, if we just have a closer look, which I've mentioned previously. For the toggles, there's no, don't remind me again. It's learn more or remind me later. And learn more is the one that's highlighted. Remind me later isn't. So a little bit of marketing tactic here by Microsoft because that means that because there's no, don't remind me ever again or dismiss, these notifications will pop up randomly and at different intervals. And I think will be popping up a lot more the closer we get to the end of support. So just making you aware of this. And in regards to Microsoft promoting Copilot Plus PCs over and above so-called normal PCs, if we head over to Microsoft's website, Microsoft now is targeting students. And this is the first post which was dated the 11th of June. So Microsoft really pushing Copilot Plus PCs. And here's the second post dated the 18th of June. Well, basically Microsoft saying in both of these posts, just to kind of sum it all up, that Windows 11 PCs, especially Copilot Plus PCs, can help students, as they say, thrive in and out of the classroom. And built-in AI tools will make life easier, basically. This is just the gist of both of these posts. And according to both of these posts, AI features like Recall and Click to Do, and Recall has faced quite a lot of um, controversy due to privacy and security reasons, as we have been talking about on the channel. Microsoft is classifying AI features, as mentioned, like Recall and Click to Do, as now productivity tools. Just on a side note regarding that statement by Microsoft, I don't see why Windows 10 is not a productivity tool. I don't see what Copilot Plus PCs really at the end of the day can do that a Windows 10 PC can't. All they have is recall. And I don't think too many people use recall on a regular basis. I think if I ever got recall on any of my devices in the future, I don't think I would really be using it too much, but that's just my personal take on it. But let me know what you think down in the comments regarding Microsoft's latest marketing push now where you can do more with a new Windows 11 PC especially if it's a Copilot Plus PC so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one